one, two, three. On the count of three, you'll be here. One, and two, and three. Yeah, Roger. Sort of here, just just say goodbye because I'm no longer Angelica's guidance. Ah, so you quit. <laughs> yeah. You can say it like that. Oh, I see. You can be my guy. No, thank you. <laughs> Why not? There are better things to do. More things that interest me. Oh, I see. Um, so actually, I just want to ask about this part. When I came to Earth, you were. In yes, I supervise, and I have to bring souls who want to come to Earth. Yeah. So till what point that you were? So outside the barrier. Oh. So that is uh, the energetic barrier that surrounds Earth, oh. where people who are not supposed to come in, they mm -hmm. can't. Okay, so I want to know what made what made me decide to come to Earth. Why are you asking me? Because I have no one else to ask. My higher self doesn't tell me much. Well, there's a reason for that. So I'm not supposed to know. It does not serve. What is the point of knowing why you came when you're just supposed to just do it? But you seemed I, excited. <laughs> I guess so. Um, and uh, anything else you can? No, I'm just here to say goodbye. Goodbye to me? Yes. But why? You still can come in. You still can talk to me. I don't want to. Why? I'm done with... With Earth people. With guiding humans. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, I can see, I can sense you're a little bit disappointed. No. Mm. You don't have emotions. I just think that this is not going to get anywhere, so I'm not going to continue to do this. Mm. But she has uh, other guides. Oh. Yeah. Okay, so she will be fine. Right. You have better things to do, and you wear blue jacket. What, what do you do? Can you tell me a little bit? I travel. Uh huh. You wear? Or... I bring souls who want to come to Earth. Oh. That's and I supervise that process. So you and if they them. wish, I can help guide them. Oh, when you say bring, it's their will. But you just uh, kind of escort. I said bring, not kidnap. Okay. So you escort it. Escorting us. Mm -hmm. So you are the only one who is doing this? I'm not sure about other. Uh -huh. But let's say Jessica. Did you do that? No, I didn't do it for her. Mm -hmm. So we all. all there are other different ways to get here. Mm -hmm. Through a tunnel? If you wish. Mm -hmm. I see. There are some who came here alone, which is fine. But in order to get used to the vibration or frequency, it's better to have a guide. At least to fit your soul into that physical body. So I'm a little bit surprised why I needed someone. Because it's a part of the process. You didn't need me. So I have been here before. Been where? On Earth. You had more than one lifetime on Earth. Mm. So I want to ask this part. I, I, have I, um, how to say, the Lemuria time? I was here. Or? Yes. Oh. I'm just confirming someone told me about that. All right, so you said, uh, what? You guide them. Do you talk to them when they're coming to work? Yes, of course. Mm. You supervise them. Yes. Mm. Well, what do you say to them? I don't say anything to them. I just make sure that their physical body is growing up as planned and does not have any issues. So let's say if they do have some issues, because some baby will... Then we have to fine-tune it while they're asleep. You find a what? Fine-tune it oh. while they're asleep. Mm. And then you fix it? Yes, we fix it. I see. But it doesn't happen too often. I see. So how, uh, what, what will be the cause? It's usually when the vibration or frequency of that soul is a bit mismatched with what the, either the environment or what Earth is giving off. Uh -huh. mm. So it does not happen often? Just no, because we're good at what we do. So before we came to Earth, the uh, physical body and the soul needs to kind of match, right? Yes. Um, so there's... Uh, Which is why I bring people back and forth sometimes, just to make sure that every time we fine-tune the body, mm. while it's, it's inside the womb. So how about when we leave the body? That's... then we're fine. Nothing matters. Alright, but let's say babies, they were born with disabilities. That's a different situation. Check the blueprint. Um, what so, does the blueprint say about them? But how can we uh, see the blueprint? Ask their higher self. Um, so it's a pre-plan. 
Yes. Always. Okay. So, um, please uh, visit this office. Uh, yeah, can you? When you're not busy. If you have a question that's just for me, just ask. But I, I don't know what can be just for you. Okay. I don't know why I would show up if oh, okay. there's nothing I can do uh, here. I see. So uh, when it comes to this type of question, when you bring people to Earth. I bring, yes. Mm -hmm. If I want to know more about that part. Sure. Mm -hmm. So why the, the spirit guides? What do you mean by don't do much? Uh, when they come into Earth, why they don't ex escort? They don't understand the physical body as much as we do. Oh. And they don't understand the rules of this planet as much as we do. So you said you are a watcher, yeah? I'm not a watcher. Oh. I said you can call me Roger. I know that. But maybe someone else, someone said I'm a watcher. There are watchers. There are, yes, there are people, mm. can't really use people, but there are beings who like to watch. Mm and observe what's going on on Earth. And they report? They can, but it's not as serious as you make it to be. It's as you guys are saying, it's a show, we watch it. <laughs> okay. So they say, earlier when we were having this conversation, were you there here? Yes. Uh, you heard it, the conversation? Yes. Uh -huh. But I can also access Jessica's memory, so... Because you're in her body? Yes. I see. And it contains the energy and the thoughts. And so, uh, another question before, I came to Earth, you and me, we were some type of peers. Well, you have to take me back to that place. Oh, okay. At least this physical, in a way that this physical body can access. So I did one life, is, uh, and we were on Lyra. Lyra. Yes, I remember you asking about that. We were making plants. Right. And I'm still not too sure. So there are no beings, no creatures on that planet? Very little. Uh, because our job was just to make plants, to bring them to Earth. So how about now? Those plants don't exist anymore. Oh. They were for, in a linear fashion, ancient civilizations hmm. that were underwater. Right. So um, have you been to Akanaki? No, that's a lot of questions. I need oh. to okay, leave. Okay, I'll you. let you go. Thank you, bye. All right, um, so now I'd like to I like to have a Jessica's uh, this physical body to channel through the energy um, of uh, Susu's soul, and we have some questions to ask about her current situation. <laughs> 